All right, this week's English language arts assignment is appliances. Um, it's a brief article about that with some very easy questions, so we'll go over that together. Uh, when you think of appliances, what comes to mind, most people think of the refrigerators, dishwashers, stoves, uh, washers and dryers, freezers. They're pretty large, and they do cost a lot of money, especially when you have to replace them and you don't have the money. Uh, they're not things you buy very often. Uh, these are called major appliances, but not all of them are large. Some are like your the uh, steam iron or your hair dryer, electric toothbrush, toaster, blenders. Uh, all those are small appliances. Um, the government printing office prints many bulletins that helps buyers select appliances. And a list of titles of these bulletins can be obtained from your library or the Superintendent of Documents, U.S. Government Printing Office in Washington, D.C. There are also many consumer magazines that appear monthly. You can get a copy from the librarian or you can buy one. These magazines give you all the info and the internet gives you all the info you need about appliances. They also rate them so you can buy wisely. Uh, if you find what you think is a good one, then you're going to need some information. So be sure to get that manufacturer's name and Google it. Uh, there are probably several places in your community where you can buy them. Be sure to shop around uh, online. Also, you can get it as well as just going around town and seeing what is available. As with furniture shopping, check out the company's reputation. Certain types of stores are known for certain things. Um, and then down here, you kind of have a chart that shows what a discount store is. Uh, advantages of low prices, uh, maybe not so much in service. A department store usually has better service, but the prices are a little higher. An appliance store has a lot of selection, but it is going to cost you more. And a repair store gives you personal service, but not as much selection. Uh, going down here to the uh, questions at the timeout portion, and then we'll deal with this part. There's five major appliances that can be found in a home, refrigerator, dishwasher, range, washing machine, and freezer, which is in the reading. Uh, in the discussion, I kind of mixed up, got you five here. Steam iron, hair dryer, toothbrush, toaster, and blender. I did mention it earlier. Where do you think you can find information? The internet, newspaper, if you still get one, and actually in the store. In our community out here in the Antelope Valley, probably Best Buy, Home Depot, Lowe's, and Amazon online. Best places to find uh, small appliances. Um, check the guidebooks and magazines to determine the advantages of the products that you're uh, looking for. Look for a rating. And if the appliances doesn't have a, appliance doesn't have a warranty, you might not want to buy it. Uh, the times covered in warranties can vary in length. Some are just a year. If you're buying an electrical appliance, be sure it has an underwriter's laboratory seal of approval. You do see this a lot, so that you probably will see that in any small or large appliances. Uh, and then last right here, this seal means that uh, the item has been tested and is safe. All right, and there's your assignment uh, for week number six appliances. When you're done completing the questions, please click finish. Uh, email my answers to my teacher. Type in your full name. Level group is 12. This is going to be uh, titled Consumer Buy-in. Buying. <laughs> and remember to email it to me at dsalinas at avhsd.org. Click send. And you are done.